Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. This is one from my quick tip series and um, I'm going to show today how to remove JPEG artifacts. Um, I have this landscape image open in advanced mode and if I choose the zoom tool, tool from the top left of the um, tool palette, if I zoom in um, to about 200% um, and then move around the image I'm just holding down the space bar so I can use the hand tool to move around. And these artifacts are usually caused by high levels of compression, either in camera to um, reduce the size of images to make more room on a storage card, or when uploading to the internet or social media um, to reduce file size for quicker downloading and viewing. So I'm going to take this image now into the quick workspace and do quick actions. We have this um, one button here called JPEG Artifact Removal. So I'm just going to give it one click and um, Adobe starts applying the, um, the magic to the, to the image to remove the, the artifacts. I'm doing this in real time so you can see how quickly it happens. And there you are. Um, if we zoom back out again, um, let's go to um, Fit to Screen. Now we have a much better image, you know, the, 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 the blockiness has gone, you know, even at 200%. Um, it's, um, Adobe has smoothed it and, um, and um, applied a little bit of blur, I think. There's just a little bit, little bit of softness there. If we click on this right-facing icon, you can see the uh, layers that have been created automatically. We have the original background, the quick action, and then a composite of the two. So I could actually select this um, in between stage and click the delete layer and click yes. And so we just have the composite layer now and the original. So if I click on the eyeball, you can actually see the before and after. That's the before with the artifacts and looks like a bit more sharpness and clicking back on the adjustment and that's the after. So if I click on layer two, we can actually use the opacity slider. And if we start to reduce it, we can bring back a little bit of the sharpening detail. Let's fit it to screen so we can see more clearly the overall image. And if we go too far, we'll start to reintroduce the, 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 the artifacts. So be careful using the opacity slider. Somewhere between 50 and 60%, I think, works quite well. and gives a pleasing result. Um, which doesn't take away too much detail, yet smooths out the sky and the artifacts in the in the shadows. So that's the new quick action in Photoshop Elements. I hope you like this. Give it a try and um, see how you get on. Thanks for watching this quick tip. Until next time, bye bye.